August in Barclay Sound, or Fogust as it's sometimes known. It is summer and the time of year that Rendezvous Dive Adventures organizes the annual Shark Survey Week. During eight days, divers come up from all over the world to help gather information on the local six-gill shark population. The Citizen Science Project started in 2009 and Dr. Pat Pryor and Dr. Chris Harvey-Clark are the researchers helping out. My name is Chris Harvey Clark. I'm a uh, marine naturalist and a veterinarian, and I also do research on uh, sharks, particularly cold water sharks. Uh, of all the common species of sharks, rays, skates, and chimeras, uh, you're likely here to see the uh, six gill shark, a giant, really giant shark, one of the largest, uh, dogfish sharks, and uh, amongst the chimerids, we see ratfish. Now, ratfish are really intriguing, strange looking creatures. Uh, they have big buck teeth, big blunt nose, big dorsal spine, which is venomous. Uh, and they appear to be a primary food source for the six gill. The dives are done on reefs where six gill sharks were historically found. Divers check their cameras and gear before suiting up at the dive sites. Everything is thoroughly checked, including the wide angle lens. With all the gear, it takes a little while before the divers are actually ready. After the final preparations, the dive team enters the water and their camera gear is handed down. One by one, the divers get into the water and slowly descend on the reef. The divers know their task and this is serious business. On large reefs, the team splits up to cover more ground, and soon Dr. Pat Pryor and Dr. Chris Harvey Clark find their first shark. It is a very large male shark, and judging from its full belly, it recently had a meal. The team starts recording information such as depth, temperature, gender, and particularly looks for obvious scars and markings that help identify the shark, either for now or in the future. Underwater video and photos are an ideal tool for recording these markings. Underwater lasers are projected on the sharks to help estimate the length of the animals. A little further on the reef, Jason finds a small juvenile shark. It is only 90 centimeters long and at risk of being eaten by larger, more mature sharks. As the week progresses, other sites also render more sightings, and after eight days a wealth of information is thus collected. This information is then shared with other shark scientists. We hope that the information helps to better understand this elusive animal and contributes to their conservation.